you've been, I mean, when did you start? You've basically been doing music your whole life. I feel like I started late, relatively speaking. Relatively. Yeah. So but you've been performing since you were how old? 83, which would put me at 21. It's pretty young. But my friends had been studying and playing and practicing music since they were 10, the guys that I hooked up with musically. Mm. So 21 is kind of like, you already have to have started music. Let's like with a sport. If you right. start at 21, uh, yeah. it's kind of late in the game. That's true. So I just got lucky that I had been studying other things that fed into music. So I had something to say. I had rhythm. I had love for dance, love for sound, love for my friends. But I have been performing since I was 21. It's a long time to be in the public eye, living that life. Mm. It is, and it's it's both wonderful and horrific at the same time. <laughs> the public eye specifically. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't think I would trade it because it comes with joy and perks and it's a unique experience, but I love my anonymity to pieces. Yeah. I love going out in the world and just not Can get... you still do that? Yes. Not often, but when I do, I love it. When you can sneak by. Uh, I'm not even sneaking. I, not, just, I mean, you don't have to sneak. But I, I mean, think it's the anti-sneak approach that makes you invisible. Mm. You go about your business and maybe you just blend in. Mm. Los Angeles, California is the place where I get noticed and mess with the least. Because they're so used to famous people there. Jaded. Yeah. In a bubble, self-obsessed. Right. They could care less. The minute you, I walk around New York City, hey, Kedis, <laughs> caught you on the TV, whatever. Yeah, completely different sort of scenarios with giant masses of people. The New York mass of people is not connected to show business. No. So you a have less of the self-obsession. And they love seeing people that they relate to. Right. And they'll let you know about it. They'll, right. they'll stop the car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But the Los Angeles scene, yeah, that's that's so true. That that's one one of the reasons why a lot of people that are famous actually enjoy living in Los Angeles because people are jaded, mm -hmm. and you can you know it's kind you of can normal. hang out. People don't care; they leave you alone. Well noted. Yeah. Yes. So, what's the horrific, the horrific aspect of being famous for so long? Uh, lack of anonymity. So that's the big one for you. Uh, yes. I, I really have no complaints. I, I love my job so much. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but it is... You're really good at it. That's what you did to deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> I do work hard, um, but I was taught how to work hard by my boys in the band because they all work hard, really hard. They could tell. They're obsessed. They're obsessed with practicing and learning and pushing the boundaries and evolving and tapping into that which you cannot see or, or totally understand. Horrific. Maybe, maybe I exaggerated with the word horrific. Um, it's a good word, though. It's a good word. It's got the word horror. I know you like some horror. <laughs> yeah. It's not really horrific if I think about it. No. I take that back. It's just inconvenient sometimes, maybe. Sometimes I'm shy and bashful and reclusive and I just want to chill chill, and people want to take pictures or have, right. me, have me talk to their girlfriend on the phone. Or... Yeah. Small price, small price. This brings me to my new philosophy in life, which I remind myself every day. Can I yeah, give it to you? Yeah, please. 